So for right now, though, we are going to head on over to the chicken coop, to the barnyard, <laughs> and I'm going to get this hung and see how the, the uh, birds do with it. I haven't fed them yet, so they're going to greet me anxiously, wanting me to feed them, and I'm going to get all that done, too. And then I'm going to, well, I don't know if I'll hang this first, and then, I'll probably hang this first, and then I'll get the food out and um, get the bunnies and the baby ducks and everybody taken care of, so... Come on with me. Check it out. All right, let's go. Howdy, howdy. Thank you for joining me on today's Table Talk. I hope you're doing well today. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful day. And, uh, well, here... <laughs> It's a beautiful day here hopefully it's a beautiful day there and the weather is, is uh, conducive to what you need to get uh, accomplished today um, I've got my dogs staring at me out there and my ducks and my chickens and my turkey squawking at me because I haven't been out to feed them yet I've been busy this morning already and you're probably wondering why I've got this uh, cabbage head here <laughs> wanted to share with you what I'm going to do today. I am going to give my chickens a treat. Anthony told me about this, so I thought today would be a good day to try it. I have a head of cabbage here, and I have uh, made a hole all the way through it from one end to the other, and I found this long piece of fabric string that's really strong because you know cabbage is heavy <laughs> and I'm gonna hang it up and Anthony says they have a good time poking at it and it swings back and forth and um, they enjoy the cabbage and plus it keeps them occupied you know sometimes the birds can get mm, bored maybe because every time I go out there it doesn't matter if they've already eaten they come running over you know like they want me to see them and they probably just want more treats but <laughs> I like to think it's because they want to see me, but um, I'm going to head out there. I'm going to get it hung up, and we'll see how they do, but before I do that, I wanted to uh, say happy Sunday to you. Uh, if you are not aware of my other channel, I posted um, a devotion this morning, which I really, really enjoyed reading. And on Sundays, I post um, Charles Spurgeon, Morning by Morning by Charles Spurgeon. I post his devotional readings. And today, today's was a really good one. I enjoyed it a lot. And if you're not familiar, familiar with my other channel, His Gathering Place, uh, head on over there. I'll leave a uh, link in the description box, and you may enjoy it. It's, it's intended to uh, encourage you, to uplift you, to get you to uh, think about the Lord and ponder on Him and to realize that... Uh, you know, we're all alike. We're just, we're just passerbyers in this world. And God wants to be there with us. We all go through the same things. It may be a different experience uh, in particular, right? The details may be different. But we are all experiencing the same thing as we live on this earth. We go through hardships. We go through joys. We go through... Uh, uh, loneliness, depression, we go through uh, sadness and grief, and we all, we are all experiencing all these emotions, each individually and collectively as humans, as a creation uh, created in His image. The Lord has made us in His image, and so in that respect, we are all the same because all of mankind was made in his image and he loves us all. He loves you. And the devotions I, I post every day is to uh, help you to just draw closer to the Lord and that he will make himself known to you in a great and mighty powerful way like he has for me in my life. So um, I wanted to just remind you about that. And I do post just about every single day, and they're very short devotions followed by a um, Christian music video. 
they're less than 10 minutes, mostly around seven minutes or so between the devotion and the music. So it's a very short, uh, a very short message that I hope uplifts you. And if you do go over there, let me know. Let me know and uh, share your thoughts and comments with me. So for right now, though, we are going to head on over to the chicken coop, to the barnyard, <laughs> and I'm going to get this hung and see how the the uh, birds do with it. I haven't fed them yet, so they're going to greet me anxiously, wanting me to feed them, and I'm going to get all that done, too. And then I'm going to, well, I don't know if I'll hang this first, and then I'll probably hang this first, and then I'll get the food out and um, get the bunnies and the baby ducks and everybody taken care of, so... Come on with me. Check it out. All right, let's go. You guys gonna like? Oh, come on now. You guys gonna like some of this?
So I give my new baby ducks fresh water every every day. Come on, little ducky ducks! Beep, 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 beep. They're growing. They're qu growing quite nicely. Beep 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 beep. beep. This is actually the rabbit hutch that um, the rabbit started in, but then little by little, the chickens took over, chickens took it over, and so now I have it for my, my new little peeps. It keeps them safe while they grow because it's such a nice, it's not winter, so it's nice. It's nice out here. So they can be outside. Unlike last year, I had to put the peeps in the other coop after they got their feathers. But um, I think I waited last, yeah, because I think it was cold, cooler. But anyway, here's my little chick chicks. Beep, 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 beep. They're all yellow, so I'm hoping they're all going to be white. That one looks like he's turning white already. I don't know if you can see that. That one right there in the middle. He looks like he's already turning white, losing some of his yellow. Aren't they cute? I just love my little ducks. They get in the water. They're learning. Learning about water. And I haven't seen him swimming yet, but it's not very deep. But they do get in there and splash around, wiggle their tails. <laughs> They're just so cute. They're just so cute wiggling their tail feathers. Beep, 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 beep. I've got six and they're all yellow. So I'm hoping they will all be white because I only have one white. One white little ducky. And she is a farm favorite. She is a farm favorite with the males. See the back of her neck? She gets, she gets a lot of attention from the males, that, that little white one. More so some, than some of the others. And maybe it's because she's white. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But if you can, take, if you can see the back of her neck, you see where her feathers are ripped out? Well, that's what they do. That's what these boy ducks do. So... That's my little Miss Turkey. Beep, 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 beep. Today's Sunday, so I'm going to give these ducks a new, fresh pool of water. Chickens are up there drinking out of it right now. And there's the little duckies. And here's their food. I keep their food up on bricks so it doesn't get all loaded down with this um, shavings. But they're, they're doing really good. They know that in here is their food and they know that out there is their water. They know that they can come in here and sleep.
and they're learning how to play in the water. Beep, 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 beep. So they're going to do nicely in the pond. Everybody's interested in these little ducks. Even my little Miss Turkey Turkey, huh? What's my little turkey doing? No action on that cabbage ball yet. I'll have to keep an eye on that, make sure, see if they're eating it. I'm sure when the when the pellets are done, and they've had their fill of these pellets. They'll be over there wanting to nibble on that cabbage. What are you doing up there, little hand? Sitting on the perch. Oh, sorry there, little turkey. Crackers, they look forward to Sundays for new water. Not even bottom filled up yet, and they're already jumping in there. <laughs> oh, the phone at her. What's my turkey doing? What's my 
That's my little sister doing. That's my little sister doing. My little turkey needs a friend. The other one died. Got to fight with that dead gum rooster. That's what I believe happened anyway. Broke his leg. Where's my little turkey doing? Ideally, they'll have their own pen, each breed. But you gotta work with what you got. Use what I got for right now. So I got big plans, big plans. <laughs> Get out of that corner. Get out of that corner. Work with my hose. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Come on. <laughs> So as that was filling, I took advantage of the time and went and got my cardboard and laid down what cardboard I had in this muddy area to help soak up some of this water. And it will, um, and it'll disintegrate right into the ground, so. Doesn't appear like anybody's touched the uh, cabbage ball yet, but we'll see if they start playing tetherball with the cabbage head. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so,
This is the barnyard, guys. It is not light work, but it's not hard work, especially if you love it. And I do love it. I got my little new baby ducks. I got my bunnies down there. And they're just kicking. I don't know if you can see them, but they're just kicking back, laying. They'll be happy to have their own hutch pretty soon. And then we've got the flock of hens. There's A.A. Ron right in the midst of them, right there. Anthony gave me him. He's a good rooster. And there's that one. I don't know what's wrong with her. Anybody tell me what the heck's going on with this little hen here? She seems to have lost all her feathers. Is she A.A. Ron's favorite? Or what? If you know what, could, what it could be, let me know in the comments.